Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ankan Bashu and I'm a CSSP, I hold Security Plus certification, A Plus, Neutral Plus and most recently I passed the CompTIA Linux Plus certification. It's a two phase certification just like the A Plus and today I wanted to give you guys some tips about how to study for the exam and how to, f how to pass that exam on your first try. So, who am I? So I just said that I'm a Comp CompTIA Linux Plus certified and I just passed within the last two weeks so it's everything very fresh in my mind. And I actually took both of the exams on the same day, one after um, another, like immediately one after another. Took the LX103 first and then <clears throat> the LX104. Now, I had about two years of Linux experience, mostly in RPM-based systems, but the Linux uh, SART will actually give you way more knowledge than even when you have a two years of experience. Now, previously I also taken an intro to Linux class and a Linux system administration class. It's not mandatory. And if you do not have any experience at all, uh, I would say that give yourself plenty of time, at least three to three to six months, and then you know if you're a Windows user, just use a, a virtual box and then install all kinds of Linux systems and then practice. And the systems that you would want to install is at least one Debian-based systems like a Ubuntu, and a, and one at least one Red Hat-based systems, and I I'm going to recommend CentOS. And then just go through the exercises, go through you know a book, go through video tutorials, and practice and practice and practice. Go through you know as many practice exams as you can, and 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 feel good about your knowledge, and then take the exam. Now let's uh, look at the website first. Like if you just go to the Google Plus and do a search on CompTIA Linux Plus you get to this website uh, the, the official CompTIA Linux Plus page and you see that it says CompTIA Linux Plus powered by LPI now LPI is the Linux Professional Institute and what CompTIA is doing there is actually a series of LPI levels like LPI 1, LPI 2, LPI 3 like the higher you go the difficult it becomes now CompTIA Linux Plus is exactly the same as the LPIC1 level exam. Now if you take the exams that is offered via the CompTIA and you get the CompTIA Linux Plus certification then you will get the LPIC1 certification for free. You just have to, uh, once you pass, you just have to go to the uh, CompTIA website and tell them to release your information to LPIC and you will have another certification just for free and so that's a good thing <laughs> that you get some free certifications now if you see <clears throat> why it's important and you know it's uh, Linux is everywhere and we know that and you hear some job descriptions like if you're if you want to be a Linux database administrator or a junior Linux administrator a junior net network administrator or web administrator you need Linux and it says Linux Plus keeps you relevant, it's widely recognized, US Navy, Dell, HP and all kinds of other companies they use Linux and it gives you then the details of the two different exams. <clears throat> now what I feel like the first part is more about the command line and the second part is a little bit more focused on the management of the servers and, and a strong importance on security. So if you're a security professional, you will love the LX0104 part and LX0103 part is more about the command line and how to be comfortable with the different kind of commands and different kind of switches that you can use with those commands. Now for the exam you have about 60 questions for each of the exams. There are multiple choice questions and look at that. You have fill in the blank in both of the exams. So when you are studying for the exam, uh, make sure that you you know the name of the different files the different important files and their locations because they will ask you in Debian system What is the you know the name of a particular file? 
so you have to remember that and, and write it down properly to get full marks <clears throat> now you have about one and a half hour for both of the exams the passing mark is actually not terribly high it's 500 and I feel like it because they have the fill in the blank questions they are keeping it low so you only need to get 500 out of 800 uh, uh, total full marks to pass those exams uh, the other good thing about this exam this cert does not expire so once you have it there's no continued education credit needed or nothing like that all right I think we have gone over this pretty well so let me go back to the slides real quick <coughs> so study material so how are you going to study now personally I am a both an audio visual study person so I always love to study by watching videos it, it helps me uh, learn the material you know quicker when I see somebody else is actually teaching and doing hands-on and I can watch it and do some hands-on stuff now lynda.com is something I admire and I am a long member of lynda.com and they have a certification track uh, let me go there <clears throat> now the interview is not free but you can sign up for a free trial and if you like it you can continue but even if you don't I think they, they give you a seven a seven day free trial and you can at least give it give it a shot and see you know if you like their videos so their Linux plus certification path it includes multiple courses okay it says prepare for LPIC 1 and CompTIA Linux plus certification and you see that they start with the Linux overview and installation then learning Linux command line files and permissions package management which is very important uh, then Linux sales and processes network configuration desktop and remote access user and group management and finally the Linux system information and directory structure tools now if you don't have the lina.com it's not the end of the world the next uh, material that I would recommend is the Cybrary. Cybrary I use a lot as well. Uh, Cybrary also has a Linux, Compte Linux Plus uh, video course. Let me go there. Personally, I watched their uh, Linux course and I didn't find it you know, as useful as some of the other courses that Cybrary offers. Like the CSSP course that Cybrary offers is very, very good, very good. Uh, but still more you material you can cover the better so I would still recommend that you watch the County of Linux Plus course from Cybrary from that URL or you can just do a Google search Cybrary County of Linux Plus and you will get there now I think the best video resource that you can find they actually came from uh, they actually came from <clears throat> Safari Books Online and there are actually two different series of videos that I, I'm going to highly recommend. The first one that I absolutely love are the study guide by Ted Jordan. He is excellent and those videos are from Infinite Skills. I'm pretty sure you can get it from other places as well. But Tate Jordan taught the LPIC 1 exam 101 and LP, LP 1 exam 102 both series very very well and you see he already has really good reviews like almost 5 star in both videos <coughs> the other one is taught by Sander Van Gut maybe I'm not pronouncing his name right and I'm sorry about that but he also has a <coughs> video course that says uh, CompTIA Linux Plus LPIC 1 by Sander Van Voigt and you can watch that series as well and he has really uh, good material uh, for Linux Plus exam. Now YouTube used to have a lot of good videos but recently I could not find the videos that I used to see in the YouTube. I don't know what happened otherwise I was going to recommend some videos from YouTube as well at the moment it seems like there are videos but they're half hazard so it's really hard to find the right videos that you need for the exams well let's go to the books <coughs> now I'm going to recommend four different books the first one is the CompTIA Linux Plus LPIC 1 certification this is by Bob Tracy <coughs> the all-in-one series they usually come up with really good videos 
although i think this book the the content itself was not impressive but the thing that really impressed me was the questions the number of questions that it comes with the city and you can take exams and the practice exams were really really good and you can also go through the end of the chapter uh, questions and they, this book probably has the maximum number of questions at the end of each chapters so I, I would still recommend this book but I think this Comte Linux plus LPIC 1 this hard guide this book is actually way better than the all-in-one uh, Comte Linux plus one and I'm gonna give you a little bit more information from the Amazon in a little bit <coughs> The other two books that I absolutely gonna recommend, the first one, and they're both from the Cybex, and Cybex is the another agency that I absolutely admire for uh, the, the, the certification type books. And they have the LPIC 1 study guide, and they also have the LPIC practice tests. And this is another, the practice test book does not have any chapters explaining any of the concepts. They only have questions and questions and questions and answers and answers and answers. So I would absolutely recommend that you look look at both books, you study and you practice. You practice and practice. And when you're studying, as of me, I always try to study just a little bit, maybe finish one book, you know, not very thoroughly and then start taking the exams. And when I start taking the exam, it gives me an idea what kind of questions there might be and, and it helped me to focus on the areas that I really need to study. So you can take that approach if you like and you know, start with some practice tests, see where you are, where you stand and then go back and read the chapters. <coughs> uh, before I finish, let's go to the Amazon for one last time. <coughs> now here, as I said, if you just search by LP1, those are the four books that will come up very, very fast at the very top. Now, if you have access to any library, those books, uh, you can get those books online and for free. Like I have access to, I'm a, to the community college library. So all those books, they're online available to me, so I don't have to buy those. I can just go and read it online when I like. Uh, let's see. And there is actually another one uh, that's also from from uh, from this group that says uh, CompTIA Linux Plus. Uh, let me see if I can find it. <coughs> it's a, a command command example. Uh, let's see command examples. Like there there is a book. It didn't come up in here but <clears throat> that's another book I would recommend uh, if you can find it uh, that book is gonna give you uh, that book would look very similar to this one and instead of saying a sort guy it will say the command examples and that one does not go through chapters by chapters that book only takes the commands and just go through it I'm gonna look for one more area really quick um, compti comptia Linux plus and I'm gonna search by books because I really like that book so I wanted to yeah there we go yes CompTIA Linux Plus LPIC 1 Portable Command Guide. This is another absolutely important book for you guys. And this book does not have chapters. This book has commands and commands and commands. It's like a command reference book for the Linux Plus and the LPIC 1 uh, exam. So if you have this book and you practice the commands that this book references, you will have no problem passing that exam. All right. So to end this, uh, remember that you are going to have some fill in the blank questions for both exams. So study well. And remember to take the CompTIA Linux Plus first so that you can get the LPIC 1 certification for free. And with that, good luck with your exam. Thank you for listening.